Jamaica's Blue Mountain stands up to 2,256 meters or over 7,400 feet. It is an idyllic location to cultivate coffee due to the elevation and soil. The coffee beans grown there are considered among the best in the world. I'm an international certified coffee cup taster and I've been tasting for well over 35 years. Listen, I have cupped coffee when I came into the industry 30 odd years ago. The Blue Mountain coffee, its flavors, its aroma, sweet balance, floral, the aftertaste is just fantastic. It's still the best tasting coffee in the world. Blue Mountain Coffee Farmers represents 85% of the approximately 5,000 coffee farmers in Jamaica. Of that 5,000, I, I estimate that about 80% are small farmers and 20% are medium to large farmers. Uh, interestingly, the total coffee farming population is about 102,000 in terms of farm families. So coffee itself is a very far-reaching um, crop that is grown by these farmers, um, in particular in the Blue Mountains, in very, very hilly terrains, but it forms a part of their economic base. So coffee itself, you know, is a, a very, very important crop um, in Jamaica. Jamaica's Blue Mountain coffee farmers are currently earning 10,000 US dollars per box for their top tier Jamaican beans. However, the sweet aroma of success from coffee could evaporate due in part to climate change. Climate change experts say that global temperatures will continue to rise, increasing to between 1.5 to 2.8 degrees Celsius. Rising temperatures, more frequent and intense hurricanes, floods, extreme drought are all telltale signs. The byproducts of climate change, including pests and diseases, have already begun to have a negative effect on Jamaica's agriculture sector and the agro-dependent livelihoods of farmers. Coffee farmers are not exempt. Coffee farmers require financial and technical support to include appropriate training to remain resilient in the face of climate change. Investment is being made in a number of climate change adaptation strategies to mitigate the effects of climate change. They include the construction of mini dams for rain harvesting and the installation of black tanks to allow for drip irrigation. A call has also been made for periodic soil tests so as to ensure the earth where coffee is grown is replenished. It is extremely important to know what the suitability of the soil is and then you come up with a mixture, right, a fertilizer that will replace the elements that are not in the soil to ensure that the coffee trees um, can bear to its maximum production and they can last even longer. Chairman of the Jamaica Coffee Exporters Association, Norman Washington Grant, and other stakeholders have put forward a bold plan to combat climate change and protect the gains of the coffee industry. The Jamaica Coffee Exporters Association, what we have done, we have presented a plan, a proposal to the government. And this is after consultation with JACRA, the Jamaica Coffee Growers Association, and all the stakeholders. So we came up with a plan that the government should include the coffee sector in its production incentive program. And this plan includes the injection of a billion dollars in the coffee subsector over a five-year period. So every year, what we have presented to the government is invest $200 million in the coffee subsector among the 5,000 farmers in the provision of fertilizer, chemical, training, um, dealing with the whole question of you know, pest and disease, dealing with climate change in putting and assisting the farmers to build drip irrigation capacity 
on their farms and note that in particular in the Jamaica Blue Mountain there are a lot of steep slopes like you know slope 7 which is pretty steep where coffee is grown but you can um, put in your black tank and then gravity feed your um, your water downstream so if that is accepted by the government place that fund with the in the production incentive we could see where the production of coffee could move from its current levels of 240,000 boxes to about 450 to 500,000 boxes over five years. Blue Mountain Coffee is a world famous brand. With branding comes a reputation and reputations must be maintained. These standards and expectations for Blue Mountain Coffee are of such that they cannot afford to be lessened. For that reason, Blue Mountain Coffee farmers are keen to keep afloat the flag of excellence associated with their brand and welcome mitigation efforts to weather the effects of climate change. Our geographic characteristics and location still gives us a tremendous advantage to ensure that the taste of our coffee um, continue to be one that is sought after. What we need to do, right, what we need to do is to ensure that we deal with the whole issue of climate change, um, put back fertilizer to the soil, ensure that we deal with the pest and disease, um, ensure that, you know, we deal with the plants in terms of leaf rust to make sure we have a healthy plant. If we do that, that is a part of the strategy, right, to mitigate climate change as it relates to the flavor and the taste of our coffee. And we will still, in terms of competitive and comparative advantage, right, still be number one, the king of coffees, right, the winning bean throughout the global coffee space. And, 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 and our farmers who cultivate them with so much passion, the workers who sort the beans, we are still the only country that have a regulatory authority, um, certifies quality, which in itself, in terms of a value chain activity, is a very important and fundamental um, activity. So I, do, I don't fear, quite honestly, that we are going to slip in terms of the quality and the taste of our coffee because we have put in a number of mechanism and mitigating factors to deal with that. What I'd like to see is certainly what I call the hard work infrastructure framework and capacity building within the coffee growing regions. Put in the $200 million per annum as a part of the production incentive program, provide fertilizer, provide chemicals, provide training, get some nurseries in place so you can, when you have plants that are not doing so well, you can replace them um, on a gradual basis as a part of the strategy to deal with the, 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 the increase in production and the increase in productivity. And I think, you know, many, many hundreds of years um, to come in the future, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee will continue to be the winning bean and the king of coffees. I'm Carol Francis.